In this repair video, we're going to be working on an Acer laptop. Customer said that he changed the screen on this one, and as a result, now when he powers the laptop on, it goes on for a second, and then it shuts right off. Just need to catch my breath. I just ran after a homeless person. He came in here asking for an aux cable, if we have an aux cable. Uh, for a second, I told him, no, we do not have it. And then after he left, I felt bad. I got one, and I followed him to give it to him. He has a speaker that he want to connect to his phone. So uh, anyway. So the first thing I did was I removed the customer screen, I powered it on, and the laptop did power on. So the problem is the screen that's keeping the laptop from going on. I ordered another screen, I put it in, and the computer did turn on, and I do see an image on the screen, but there's no backlight. The screen is very, very dim. I do not have it here. I do not have the screen installed right now, but I did try it, and the screen is very dim. You cannot see what's going on. You can only see an image. That's the same guy. What is it? Okay, buddy, take care. Okay, yeah. I gave the guy one cable, he came again, and he's asking if I have a headphone. <laughs> I gave him one. Now, if he comes again to ask for something else, I'm going to just let him go. Let's take a look at the area where the LCD connects. I do not see anything obvious based on physical inspection. We did not do any testing yet. This capacitor does not look good. But I highly doubt the capacitor is what's causing the problem. It's probably the MOSFET meter in diode mode and let's test. And we have a short. We have a short. So what I want to do next is check the board under a thermal cam. I have the charging cable plugged in. Let's power the laptop on. Let's check this area here. That's an inductor here, and that's an inductor here. So something is getting hot in this area also. But uh, I do not think that this is the problem. The problem is more likely the hottest area, which is right over here. This is not normal. Let's go ahead and check this area to see what's going on. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We have a huge mess here. Let's clean up a bit. Oh, I forgot to put the microscope camera. Look at this. This is the area that is getting hot under the thermal cam. And I'm just cleaning up this area to see if I can read this chip here. on with the wind. Let's remove this component just to see if our short will get released. So let's see, do we still have a short here?
And look at that, the short is gone. The short is gone. So the problem is not from this area where the screen connects, but the problem is all the way from an unexpected area, which is right over here. And I was only able to find this out by looking under the thermal cam. When we tested before, we had a short at the capacitor on this area here. And uh, right now we do not have a short anymore after we took that blown component off. So let's go ahead and plug the screen in and see if that fixed the problem or if the laptop will even power on. I do not think this component has anything to do with power. The laptop should still power on. I think this component from what I can tell, it may relate to the USB port that's on the left side of the laptop. You know what, uh, let's take a look at the USB port, this one here. Let's take a look at this port and see if there is any physical damage onto that port because maybe this port could be what caused that chip to blow. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. So that's why the chip blew. The chip is related to that USB port. A short happened here when a device was plugged in and it caused that chip to blow out. Removing the chip, release the short, and now that we have the screen plugged in, let's go ahead and test to see if we have a backlight. So let's see. We do not have the battery plugged in. I have the battery right over here. We do not need the battery. I just want to plug the charging cable and turn it on. Hopefully this will fix the problem. I mean, I have a strong feeling that it's going to fix the problem because we do not have a short on the display part of the circuit. And I do not think this component has anything to do with power. Power it on. Yes. It's working. We do not have a hard drive inside, so it's not going to boot up to anything, but we do see the backlight now. Backlight is working. Awesome. Awesome. So the laptop is fixed and it's up to the customer if he wants to fix that USB port. Right now, we just have to find out what this chip is. I do not have a circuit diagram for this board, but uh, if I did some more research, I would probably find out what this is. And the uh, customer doesn't really need this port. This is a USB 2.0 port. These are USB 3.0, so these are a lot faster than this and you have two here and you can extend these to even more ports by having a USB hub. So it's up to the customer. The job is done and time to go home. It's 6.10 right now or 6.15. I was hoping to do another repair in this video, but uh, not enough time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video. Uh, we got a lot more packages today and let me just quickly go over some of them. We have an iPad here. A customer sent two notes. No adhesive around screen, only tape. So after replacing screen, no video. When connecting to PC, it asks for permission. So it means that the iPad is on, but nothing is displaying on the screen. It could be a backlight issue or it could be a display issue. We have a lot of iPads in here that needs to be fixed. And I do not want to proceed with this one without finishing the older ones first, because it's not fair to people who ship stuff here. Uh, what else we have? We also got an iPad here. And where is this one coming from? I don't know. I cannot read it. Probably a doctor who sent this. Looks like a 12.9 inch iPad. The iPad has worked flawlessly since new. However, it has stopped charging. No green battery indicator and different charge percentage on the display. Okay, so it's a charging issue. Charging issue on an iPad that hasn't been opened before could mean a lot of things. It could be a charging IC problem. Maybe the user is not using a certified Apple cable or the original cable. It could be we have a bad charging port, which is less likely, or it could be a battery issue. I don't know. We'll work on this some other time. What do we have here? 
This one is coming from Texas. We have an iPhone 7. Liquid damage. Customer needs data recovery. Okay, 